class schedule for remote learning. Who knows, I mean, maybe this will be different by the time I publish this video, but that is the current plan. However, um, since we are going through our regular periods 1 to 10 each day with passing periods, you need to be able to manage your time well. So there's this saying that to be early is to be on time and to be on time is to be late. Basically that means that if second period science starts at 8.13, you are on Zoom waiting for your teacher to let you in before 8.13. You should be early to be on time. If you're like logging on your computer at 8.13 or 8.13 and 30 seconds, you're technically late. And I, I really want you to understand, this is not an issue of Mr. Bingman and I are going to start chucking party slips at you through Zoom or something like that. The issue is more just like, it's about being considerate of your classmates and your teacher. That the teacher isn't sitting there letting in a bunch of kids who are showing up late or waiting to start the lesson because you weren't able to get on on time. It's just a consideration thing. So you need to be able to think about others. It's not about consequences and papers, it's about being respectful of people's time. And I mean, just look at these memes, okay? So down here, you could see on the left, this kid, he is like super joyous to be on time to class because he logged into Zoom early. I mean, don't you wanna be this kid? Doesn't he look really happy? You could be that kid. Also, I mean, look at this kid on the right, all right? This kid on the right, sheer despair for being late because he, this person is not being considerate of the class. Don't be that kid, all right? Actually, that's another thing about time management. Behold, the Zoom sandwich. Okay, so in my awesome analogy, Mr. Bingaman and myself are gonna manage your Zoom session directly in the beginning and the end of the period, and that's like the bread. Um, the first piece of the bread in the Zoom sandwich is when the class period starts. And this is when we would do things like take attendance and ask you how you're doing and um, give you instructions for what we're going to do in class that day. Now, the middle of the sandwich, it, you know, like the ham or the turkey part of the tomato and mayonnaise and et cetera, condiments, whatever. Um, this is when you're doing the lab activity, okay? An activity could be a lab, it could be a reading. During this time, though, you should still be running the Zoom session. You're, you should not leave. Um, you don't need to be on the camera and you should be muted. Like, I'm not just gonna sit there and watch you work. I'm gonna trust and believe that you're gonna work because um, you are responsible enough to do that part of the car, no way. And, the and if you have any questions, then you are still in the Zoom session and you could just start yelling for one of us and we could help you out. The bottom piece of the bread and the Zoom sandwich, this is where we debrief the activity with you and wrap up class. We will tell you when to return for the debrief. Um, it would be smart for you to set a timer or set an alarm to remind you to get back to class because you are expected to be there. When you're taking an online class, there's about three things we need you to be aware of. One, we need you to log in to your school account on your Chromebook to attend the class. Second, we need you to be in the picture. Don't be wandering off and, and getting distracted and leaving the frame. We need to be able to see you to talk to you. And then finally, there's a mute button there. We want you to use it. If your dog is barking in the background or your mom is telling you to clean your room, uh, we all hear that. So mute yourself unless you need to talk and then unmute yourself to speak up. All right. Overall, the most important thing is to understand you're still in school and we still need you to follow the cardinal way and behave like you were in our classroom. Sometimes you kind of have to come to class prepared. You're, you may have to bring some things to class that we need in order to do the activities. We're going to try to keep it simple. Things like tennis balls, rulers, or maybe some magnets off your refrigerator. And show up to that Zoom meeting already having the supplies ready to go so that you can get the work done in the time that we have. The other thing we need you to be aware of is that you're responsible for your own safety while you're doing these activities. We won't be able to see you while you do them. So it's important that you pay attention to what you're doing, pay attention to your surroundings, and do the lab safely. There is a fire. Yeah, I saw that. No, that fire.
How? Well, maybe we should do something. Maybe maybe we should just like consolidate the fire. Put them together. Put them together. Yeah, that's a good that idea. Okay. Let's do that. I don't think that's any better. It's actually more almost like a bigger fire now. Yeah. Yeah. Not an improvement. No, it didn't improve. No. You know, when I was a kid back in the 80s, when I would think of like 2020, I would imagine and visualize things where it was like you had some kind of robot housekeeper and you would go on vacay on Mars or something like that. And everyone's having a great time. It seemed like the future. Well, it is 2020 and we're like in the middle of a pandemic. But I mean, hey, it could be worse. It could be like Judgment Day in the Terminator or something. So anyways, what we want to get across to you is it does not change that Mr. Bingham and I fully intend to give you the best learning experience that we can regardless of the setting. We also respect your need and your right to an education and we hope that you feel that way too. We all know that learning doesn't just happen to you passively by existing or staring at a Zoom. Um, we are invested in your learning and um, we hope that you're also invested as well. So to be invested in your learning means you gotta be truly present. You gotta minimize distractions around you. You need to do the activities. You need to ask questions and be thoughtful. Uh, remember that whatever you get out of science or any remote learning is going to be what you put into it. So we look forward to doing science with you this year and we hope that eventually we'll be doing science with you in person.